Okay, you ready? We're here to talk about another movie I watched today. I bought it from Music Magic, and um, to be expected, there were some problems in the VHS tape, but they weren't major. I know VHS, so you know these tapes are old. This one's from 87, it says on the design, so this is an old tape. The first hour, the, the, let's get it straight first. The quality was bad, but that's what you get from old VHS tapes, especially from ones in 87. If you get newer ones, like late 90s, early 2000s, they actually look pretty good. But not the early, late 80s ones, you've got to admit. About an hour in, a line formed on the bottom of the screen, and till the absolute end of the video, past the credits, the line was there. Which means the film was messed up after about an hour and in one minute but no big deal the sound never cut out there was no problems with that the tracking symbol came on once in a while because obviously the tape's old it probably had trouble tracking it a little but the sound didn't cut out i think i said it about another tape before the sound was a problem this movie was really dumb um the killing showed no blood you could tell they weren't punching each other. Um, they speak a little Japanese or whatever it was in this. I don't know. I don't know what language they were speaking. They did a little of that. Um, the kill. It just there really wasn't any point to it. And they they were stealing. Um, well, let me get. I'm trying to look on the back here. Basically, they there was a plot to sell weapons grade plutonium to terrorists, and um, they stole it or something. And it, it was just. It was a crazy, you know, it's one of those crazy movies that you make for very cheap, cheap. Um, Vidmark Entertainment, obviously, I guess, isn't a great company. I'm, <laughs> I guess I could look them up and see how good they are. I'll give you the rating on here. I saved it on my screen. The rating for this film was very bad. A 3.7 out of 10. And only 230 people rated it. So, obviously, not many people saw this film, I guess. And I was right, 1987. I wouldn't recommend buying this. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to throw it away because it is watchable. Even though there's a line for the, the last, say, 29 minutes of the film, including the credits, to you get to the very end of the tape. Then you have to rewind it, which I did with my VCR rewinder. Don't do it with the VCR. Uh, the whole tape is watchable. And the music is actually pretty soothing. It's the kind of music like relaxation music. Anything from Asian countries is very relaxing. And um, even though this is probably a rental tape, because you can tell by looking at it, um, it just shows nothing about what kind of audio it was. It had to have had some kind of Dolby or stereo track on it, because the Pro Logic was able to upgrade it. So I got it in the bass. A lot of bass in this movie for some reason. Tons of bass. It rum. It, it was nice. It wasn't too overpowering, but it was nice. And then it, it came through the rear channel speakers too. Which was nice. So overall, that's what made... Um, I guess the equipment made this movie more bearable. If you would listen to it in stereo, or maybe it would be a little difficult. I, at points, I had trouble hearing some of the people in the film. That's probably because I turned the vi all the vocals and the vine and the effects all the way to zero. And I turned the subwoofer all the way up. I know that's a terrible setting, but that's the only way I can hear the subwoofer on my system is to turn it all the way up in the settings and turn everything else down. So, it's not the right way to do it, I know it, but it's the only way I can hear it. And the subwoofer is pretty important to me uh, over the last couple of months. I put two subwoofers on my main system in my living room that I watch most of the time. In my bedroom, I put a cheap one that was passive. Okay, so I would give this movie about a five because I thought the music was pretty good. So I, The community... The online community gives it a 3.7. I give it a 5. And I stick by it. White Phantom, Enemy of Darkness. Bye-bye.